What's up guys, my name is Calvin Wiley and welcome to my YouTube channel. So I was not prepared to create this video. This is completely impromptu. It's around 11.30 p.m. Uh, I am slightly tired, but I was pressed and felt led to create this video on how to breed mantises. Uh, like I said, it's around 11.30 p.m. My wife is sleeping and so I figured why not record in the closet if you were wondering why there's clothes around me. But um, yeah, let's just get right into the video. So when breeding mantises, you are going to want to obviously breed them in some type of enclosure. This enclosure that you breed them in could be the enclosure that your adult female mantis is in. And so what you would do is you would introduce the male into the female's enclosure and breed them in there. Or you could do what I do and get something like this. It doesn't have to be this, but this is what I use. It's a uh, mesh cubed enclosure. And as you can see, I already have the adult female in here. This is Herodula membranacea, which is the giant Asian mantis. And as you can see, this enclosure is a bit dirty. <laughs> Try not to get fixated on the stains. This is purely for breeding. I've had this enclosure for years. Um, the aesthetics of it does not take away from the breeding or cause any other sort of thing. So, you know, it's just a bit stained, but it can still be used for breeding. <laughs> um, but anyway, so I am going to try to breed them well get the male to mount with the female and then fertilize her and as all that is going on i'm going to be giving you some tips and uh, just a bit of information to be successful in breeding your mantises hopefully that is going to be my goal of this video so let me go and get the male so this is my adult male giant Asian mantis and then here is my adult female as you can see the males are smaller and thinner than the females and the females are larger and a lot more robust than the males are and of course they are different colors this species is very variable in color um, it doesn't really matter if they're different colors or the same species, um, but yeah, the color does not play a factor in anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take my female and I'm going to place her on the cube over here, just like that, and I'm going to well, actually, hold on. I just want to bring attention to the male before I go ahead and try to breed them. The male, it might be a little difficult to tell, but he's actually mounting. <laughs> he mounted my, my finger. And the reason for that is because at night, and this is typically when you want to breed mantises at night, um, the females will release pheromones, which the males will detect and then he will become very receptive to those pheromones and will be more inclined to want to mate with the female. Now, a key thing in breeding mantises is that after their last molt, that's when they become a fully mature insect, an adult, you're gonna to wanna to wait about two to three weeks for the males before you pair them up with the females. And same thing with the females. I mean, it, from my understanding, the females can mate with a male as soon as they become an adult. But with the males, you wanna wait about two to three weeks. Because if you try to pair them up too early, uh, let, let's say a few days after he becomes an adult, he is more than likely not gonna wanna mate. He is not receptive to want to mate with a female yet you have to wait about two to three weeks and so as you can see he is clearly mounting my finger he believes that he is on a female right now hopefully i don't get pregnant from this but he is very infatuated uh right now with my finger thinking that he is on top of a female mantis but that is not the case 
Um, now, I'm going to feed the female a prey item. I'm just going to give her a cockroach to keep her preoccupied so that she is less likely to want to uh, consume the male because I'm sure you are well aware of cannibalism when it comes to mantises. They are well known for that. So really quickly, I just wanted to share with you guys some stickers that I have for sale on my website. All of these are of various animals that I drew on paper, and then I converted those drawings into stickers. Just to give you an idea of what they look like up close, all of these stickers are extremely durable, they're long lasting, and they are also waterproof as well. This is of a Southern Black Widow that I drew. And as you can see, these are all legit hand drawings that I've made using those markers right there. So if any of you would like to support my small business, you can head on over to kelvinwiley.net. Again, that is kelvinwiley.net. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you for supporting my website, but also supporting this channel as well. And now, back to the video. I'm just going to hand feed her. There we go. This is just to keep her mind off of wanting to eat the male because we know how you female mantises are. All right, so now I'm going to take my male and I am actually going to place him on the back of the female, uh, her abdomen. So this is the method that works for me. It might not work for you, but this is the method that I typically use when breeding mantises. Um, you can see his antennae are starting to vibrate back and forth. That is a good indicator that he is receptive and is ready to mate. So just like that, nice and slow. I'm just kind of just kind of prompting him to go on her on her abdomen so just like that and I get him on more there we go and I am just going to allow him to sit there um, now as you can see I have the male on top of the female if the male is just sitting there for a very long time and not doing anything what you can do I'm not saying he's he's just been sitting here for a few seconds but I'm just gonna give an example of, let's say he was sitting here for an hour and nothing has happened. Um, you're gonna wanna prompt the female now, right? I'm gonna try to get the female to move. And by doing so, it can actually stimulate the male to wanting to advance forward in the mating process. And I will show you that right now. And the females usually when they're eating, um, they're usually not disturbed by much so you can kind of touch them and they're kind of they're just gonna kind of go with you they're not gonna really stop eating they're more focused on the food than really what's around them or what's touching them but as you can see I'm just kind of moving the female to prompt the male and you see his antennae right there that's that's a great sign. You you want those antennae. Yep, there we go. And he's he's very uh, stimulated. Look at that. Look at those antennae. Yep. These are great signs. And he's you can see he's uh, gripped onto her with his raptorial foreleg. I'm actually going to grab them. All right, so now I'm going to take the mantises and I'm actually going to place them in the breeding box, but 
I'm gonna place them upside down. Um, so hopefully you can see this without me having to adjust my, uh, my phone, but I'm gonna place them up here. <laughs> this is kind of difficult to do with one hand, but that's okay. I can manage. There we go. Perfect. Awesome. There we go. All right. So now they are upside down. All right. Now we just play the waiting game. Oh, I did not have to wait that long. All right. So now the male is trying to search for the opening, for lack of better words, to enter the uh, the inside of the female to fertilize her. So he's just kind of feeling around. She finished with her first roach, so I'm going to offer her another one to keep her occupied. So if you're wondering on how to breed your mantises using a different method, I have a video that I uploaded on my Instagram uh, that I recorded several years ago showing you a different method that I sometimes use if putting the male on the back of the female does not work. So I will put that up right now. So in that clip, as you saw, what you would do is you would place the female in front of the male. This will hopefully get the male's attention and he will jump and leap onto the female. Uh, that is just another method that you can do. I will sometimes use that if putting the male on the back of the female doesn't work, but just experiment, see what works for you. Now I'm going back to the cannibalism aspect of breeding mantises i personally like to sit and just wait it out i i watch almost the entire time i keep a close eye on the male and female because at any time before the mating during the mating and even after the mating the female could turn on the male um but this female hasn't shown any interest in wanting to eat the male, which is pretty good, but I still don't trust her. <laughs> so when the male is finished, I immediately uh, remove him and put him back into his enclosure. Well, that's going to conclude today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions on mantises or breeding mantises, please feel free to ask me in the comments and I will try to do my best to answer them. If you enjoyed the video, if you could please leave a like and a comment and also subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell icon to turn on post notifications. That way you're alerted every time that I post a new video. Follow me on Instagram at Kelvin Wiley and also on TikTok at Kelvin underscore Wiley. Check out my website, kelvinwiley.net, and I will see you guys in the next video. I'm going to go get some sleep because it is now 1245 AM. <laughs> Bye guys.